Welcome to the Professor Slots Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. John Friedel, but please call me John. I help slots enthusiasts improve their gambling performance with next level tactics and strategies. Want to accelerate your slots journey, be more profitable, and understand casinos better to take advantage of them? I have over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, so you're in the right place. In case you missed it, on my last episode, I went over why winning at slots is kept secret from you and California slots. I hope you enjoyed listening to my last episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Today's episode number 176 includes a review of the slots industry in Colorado later in the episode, but I'll begin for you today with, are casinos upset you're winning at slots now? When will casinos notice you're winning more often using my slot strategies? They already do, but slots enthusiasts winning and returning that money doesn't make casinos upset. U.S. commercial gaming has been generating record revenues, according to the American Gaming Association's Commercial Gaming Revenue Tracker, based on casino revenues as reported by state regulators. While year-to-year gains of 8.8% have been reported, it must be remembered this increase is traditional casino games, but also includes the newly opened gaming markets of sports betting and iGaming. But let's consider the consequences of winning at slots. Most of a casino's revenue comes from patrons playing slots, most of which is given back to the player. In Indiana, state return statistics show that it's a 90% return on average. In Nevada, it's 93%. That means 10% of slots revenue in Indiana is casino profit, while 7% is profit for Nevada casinos. On average, of course. Further, the monthly revenue for a mid-sized casino in Indiana is $1.8 billion. Their profit before payroll, utilities, taxes, and other costs is 10% of that, or $180 million in a month. I started weekly live streams on YouTube on November 22, 2019 at 150 subscribers. By my 50th live stream, my channel had grown to 2,500 subscribers about a year later. And a year after that, for my 90th live stream, I had 30,000 subscribers. So let's combine these two different statistics, my YouTube channel's growth and average monthly returns for casinos. The big question is, have my winning slot strategies and other content affected the profit of casinos? Not yet. And isn't that a fascinating answer? Let's get into what's happening out there. Frankly, I'm small. My Professor Slots YouTube channel has, at last count, 41,720 subscribers. The largest Slots channel out there, Brian Christopher Slots, currently has 531,000 subscribers. In less than three years, I'm nearly 8% of the size of the top Slots channel, which has been around since 2006. And I was hardly even trying, having spent much of 2021 only offering weekly live streams while working on creating products and services elsewhere online, including an online course, 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win, a support community, Slots IQ, a website, Professor Slots, 56 state-by-state Facebook groups, a massive 18,000-member Facebook group, Professor Slots Enthusiast, and a 175-plus episode podcast, Professor Slots Play Slots Smarter and Win. That means all indications are Professor Slots has a lot of growth potential in its immediate future. I'm 8% the size of the most prominent Slots channel, a niche which is in itself tiny. Where is the 1 million subscriber Slots channel? 10 million subscribers. The fifth largest channel on YouTube, Mr. Beast, has exceeded 100 million subscribers. For perspective, our largest slots channel is half a percent that size. But that's just math. As my audience tells me, everyone is winning using my five soon method at some casinos. Not every casino, not yet, but my fans are winning. Not every one of my strategies works at every casino. Whether it works depends on how the casino has set itself up. My methods are not based on luck, but rather are counter strategies to player manipulation approaches by casinos. So what do casinos see when you go into a casino using my strategies to win? Assuming an approach works at your casino. Casinos can't see your plans. Casinos can only see your actions. It's like card counting in blackjack or optimal play at video poker. Casinos can't see all the training you've taken at home. Casinos don't know the practice you've gotten using computer software designed to make you a better card counter or achieve optimal play. What do slots enthusiasts see from their perspective regarding each of my winning slot strategies? While we could go over each, let's take a step back for a moment. Maybe you're not winning using my methods. 
As I learned during a client's paid consultation, wanting to take their slots play to the next level, that's an ambiguous statement. Maybe you're new to my educational slots content. Most slots channels and most casinos imply how easy it is to win. And if you don't win, it was because of you, but not them. The messaging from casinos, like the script used by casino employees, implies that you're to blame for losing because you weren't lucky. Nonsense. Learning to win is a skill. I had a student in my online course give me a two-star review, which shocked me after hundreds of five-star reviews. When I went and looked at how much time they'd spent taking the class, I was further surprised they gave me such a high review. It should have been a one-star review given how little time they spent on the course. That course participant spent about 15 to 17 seconds per lesson. That's it. Another individual commented on my YouTube channel that they just watched my videos on my winning slot strategies and was going to the casino to try them. What? Even the method on taking advantage of holidays? Or the morning after significant promotional events? That day wasn't a holiday or the morning after a big promotional event. It was an ordinary Thursday. There's no such thing as a free lunch. There are no get-rich-quick schemes that work. You need to learn my content and your casino. But let's say you've learned my content and found one or more of my strategies works at your local casino. And maybe you've even gone further, perhaps after a paid consultation with me, and tweaked my strategy to optimize it for your casino setup. Even under these circumstances, casino might not have any reason to be concerned. Why not? Because keeping your winnings is hard. After all, casinos aren't suffering losses if you can't get out of the casino with your winnings. The only thing that happens is a revenue and whole percentage go up because you've spent your bankroll and their money too. Getting your winnings out of the casino is key, and few of us have any practice doing so. Well, until recently, right? And it takes time to learn. You know I'm right. Casinos will only get upset if they lose money. That means you'll need to both win plus keep some of your winnings. Have you? My Professor Slots business has a long way to go yet. I still have so much growing to accomplish, but the market is there. Slots enthusiasts want to win, which is what I'm offering them. That's why I'm growing. But casinos aren't going to become afraid until they start losing money. And casinos will once my audience leans deeper into my content and learns to leave with their winnings more often. That's the goal of our Slots journey together. My audience of Slots enthusiasts are learning to win, but haven't yet learned how to leave with their winnings. But they will eventually, and that will make casinos upset. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You'll also get three free valuable bonuses, including one month free to my Slots IQ membership, where you'll get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. In the next segment of the show, I provide a brief overview of the current state of gambling in a U.S. state, territory, or the federal district, emphasizing the gaming industry for slots enthusiasts. Let's go over Colorado's gaming industry for playing slots. Colorado slots consists of 31 casinos in three historic mountain towns of Blackhawk, Central City, and Cripple Creek, as well as two American Indian tribal casinos within the state. The minimum legal gambling age in Colorado depends upon the gambling activity. For land-based casinos and poker rooms, it's 21. For bingo, the lottery, and parimutuel wagering, it's 18. Legalized gambling arrived in 1991 for Blackhawk, Central City, and Cripple Creek. In 2008, Colorado voters approved raising the minimum bet in those towns from $5 to $100. In November 2020, Colorado voters gave voters in these three towns the right to vote to add new games and raise the maximum bet limit for their municipality, potentially providing a boost to their economies. The two national historic districts are Blackhawk, Central City, and Cripple Creek. When legalized in 1991, the hope was that gaming in these towns would revive and protect them. Next up is a usually short statement about slot machine private ownership, which I have included in case you live in this U.S. state and are considering owning a slot machine. Here it is. It is legal in the state of Colorado to own a slot machine privately if manufactured before 1984. The Colorado Division of Gaming regulates gambling in the three historic mountain towns. This gaming control board is within Colorado's Department of Revenue's Enforcement Division. Regulation of gaming at Colorado's two tribal casinos is through their negotiated tribal state compacts, allowing Class III Vegas-style electronic gaming machines and table games. These compacts created Colorado's two tribal gaming control commissions, which operate with support from the State Gaming Control Board. These are Southern Ute Indian Tribe Division of Gaming and Ute Mountain Gaming Commission. 
In this section, I'll discuss Colorado gambling establishments. Colorado has 29 commercial casinos and two American Indian tribal casinos with slot machines. The largest casino in Colorado is Ameristar Casino Resort Spa Blackhawk. The second largest casino is Monarch Casino Resort Spa Blackhawk. Blackhawk, 50 miles west of Denver, has 15 commercial casinos. Central City, 1.4 miles west of Blackhawk, has 5 commercial casinos. And Cripple Creek, 112 miles south of Denver, has 9 commercial casinos. Central City is relatively more historic than the other two mountain towns. Blackhawk is much more of a typical casino town, nearly reminiscent of Las Vegas. Cripple Creek feels like a bit of both. Blackhawk and Central City are just over a mile apart. Consequently, there is a heated competition between these two towns for revenue since gambling legalized in 1991. Colorado also has two tribal casinos, one in Ignacio, 330 miles southwest of Denver, near the Arizona border, and another in Tawawak, 400 miles southwest of Denver, near the southwest corner of Colorado, and, and 112 miles west of Ignacio. As usual, when there are too many casinos to mention here, a complete list, along with a casino map, are on my webpage for the state at professorslots.com co. As an alternative to enjoying Colorado slot machine casino gambling, consider exploring casino options in a nearby state. Bordering Colorado is to the north, Wyoming, to the northwest, Nebraska. To the east, Kansas, to the south, New Mexico, to the southeast, Oklahoma, to the west, Utah, and to the southwest, Arizona, at Four Corners. To visit any of my articles on these U.S. states, simply visit ProfessorSlots.com followed by its two-letter postal designation. For example, my Wyoming Slots article is available at ProfessorSlots.com slash WY. No theoretical payout limits exist for Colorado's commercial or tribal casinos. The Division of Gaming offers return statistics by slot machine denomination. These hold percentages come statewide and are for each of the three historic mountain towns, but not by individual casinos within those towns. Player win percent is 100 minus the hold percent provided. Colorado's two tribal casinos do not have publicly available return statistics. For the latest returns, see my article on Colorado Return to Player. It's mostly charts and graphs which, while interesting, are difficult to describe verbally on a podcast. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses including one month free to my Slots IQ membership where you'll get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. The next episode of the Professor Slots podcast will include another slots-related topic and a review of the slots industry in Connecticut. Next up is a bonus episode of my initial rendition during a prior live stream of today's topic, followed by lots of slots questions and answers. Enjoy! That's the end of another great episode of the Professor Slots podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I plan to have the next episode come out very soon for you where I'll have more amazing content for the show. Until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.